so now the exterior. Basically, you don't see any LED real lights because this is a car from the 20th century. What you do get are, you know, pretty elegant cube-like designs. You can see many uh, cube cube designs on the, the brake lights, on the reverse lights, and also on the indicators, right? So, and in the middle, you get a very huge reflector design. And down here, you have the Southeast Asia style uh, number plate. Because if this car were to be from Japan, right? you would get a double layer uh, number plate design but this one it gives you a single layer design which in my opinion I think it is pretty much alright uh, down here you have a single exhaust okay this is not a sports car so you don't expect it to have dual exhaust so, okay so uh, right here you don't get the original uh, retractable antenna because basically that one was removed due to it being quite unreliable but this one right here, the reception isn't that great, so I would have to get it replaced as soon as possible. Right, and a, if you move on to the sides, right, this car, it shows you a very traditional tree box design. So what it means is that you get the engine compartment in front, passenger cell in the middle, and you get the trunk space at the end. So it is a tree box design, which is very traditional. At the back, you get some, yeah, you get disc brakes, but they are not very effective right now due to its age okay and uh, you can see a few scratches all along um, throughout the years this car is not a fastback so basically you can see that the profile is very traditional as well you do get a a bar that runs through the car the car body like this okay and no keyless entry everything is keyed again this uh, mirror is not original as well so it is we have replaced this before and you get very traditional orange type of um, indicator lights right so the rims are 16 inch I don't really have a complaint about that because basically if you get a big rim you need bigger tires so that means that higher maintenance costs and also with bigger rims heavier your fuel consumption increase with these normal rims our car is already using 10 km per liter and if I were to get a bigger rim it might go down to maybe 9 km per liter or maybe eight kilometers per liter so we basically don't want this to happen right so in front right you basically get fountain grill designs uh, which i've already used some uh, carbon fiber stickers to stick them away because basically with the fountain grill design it makes the car look very very old so basically what i did is that i make it look slightly younger for its age okay and you get two positioning lamps at the bumper section and yeah, I think that this car is okay looking enough, not really handsome, but it has its presence on the road.